Hi everyone, today I just finally got the chance to uh, watch with you the latest trailer for the Batman movie which is also known as uh, the Bat and the Cat trailer. Bruce Wayne. I'm sorry. I wouldn't be bothering you here but your people keep telling me you're unavailable. For this city. I already like this guy as Bruce, Bruce Wayne. That's the penguin. That's last time I saw the walk of vengeance. The Riddler is asking for you. The killer left this for the Batman. Why is he writing to you? This guy looks like a bit more sadistic than... If we don't stand up, no one will. Okay, that's Zoe Kravitz. Everything about strays. <laughs> the bat and the cat. It's got a nice ring. A new friend of yours? I'm not so sure. I'm impressed with Zoe Kravitz. Man, I like the costume. I like Catwoman. Don't throw your life away. Don't worry, honey. I got nine of them. <laughs> it can be cruel, poetic, or blind. But when it's denied, it's your violence you may find. Justice. Yes. The answer is justice. Yep. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful picturization, fight scenes. Okay, uh, done with the trailer. My feedback is that I was quite impressed with the teaser that came in, especially that Walk of Vengeance. But I just have this really strong gut feeling and I don't know, uh, am I going to be embarrassed when I say it, I think this might prove to be better than Nolan's Dark Knight trilogy. Matt Reeves, Robert Pattinson, the entire cast. What, what, what can I say? And the choice of villains that they have already done and the fight scene that we just saw here. Uh, I mean, initially I was a bit uh, worried why did they go for Zoe Kravitz as uh, the Catwoman, but she, in, as per this trailer, she's nailing it. And uh, I think we are in for a great treat in March. And I can't wait for it. Thank you for watching. Have a great weekend.